Hey guys and gals, it's your buddy Drew with Living History's Mysteries and Ferocious Feline Productions. You know, I've noticed something <sighs> inhibiting uh, our looking into the paranormal this new year. We have looked at quite a few um, places that uh, we wanted to investigate. And some of these places have been investigated by other investigation teams in uh, over the winter or uh, last year or even earlier this year. And where we used to be able to get into these locations by just contacting the, the, the sexton of the cemetery or, well, and, not or, and, uh, the local law enforcement, county law enforcement, state law enforcement, and just letting them know what we're doing. It's, it's not that way anymore. Uh, both large places that we've wanted to get into this year, all of a sudden they're demanding that we make a presentation to the township board to explain to them what we do and why we do it. Uh, it is, is the new norm. And, and, and when we explain to them that, you know, we've never had to do this before, only in a couple of, a couple of very rare situations in, in the four and a half years that we've been involved as a group in paranormal and parahistorical research, have we ever had to do that? And they always tell us the same thing. Well, we've had groups that have come in and we didn't talk to them first and they have made it look like uh, uh, we'll just say those TV shows where everything's over dramatized and you jump at the slightest sound or whatever. There's a big problem with the paranormal right now. And that is paranormal research teams that are going into these locations 
are trying to be the next big thing and they're over dramatizing and they're <gasps> with every little squeak or pop or crack of a tree limb or anything else when they get something on a voice recording or something uh, it, it's 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 zoomed right into their right into the camera and uh, uh, now I know a lot of you are new we just recently broke 1600 for the second time brand new channel you know only just a couple years old and but you remember back those of you that have been with us for a while we've done a lot of locations over the last five years um, and we've never had to over dramatize
I don't have a remedy for this situation. I, I, I don't have a, a clue how we as a community, anybody who's interested in the paranormal, anyone who's interested in the parahistorical, and, you know, I'm the one who coined that name just a few years ago. You know, paranormal or parahistorical. Because, I mean, what is the paranormal if not an echo of history? Uh, a doorway that all we have to do is walk through to get a lot of the answers from the voice of history itself. Teams need to stop, you know, over dramatizing. They need to start, you know, um, being grateful for what evidence they do get. And, and the key to that is going into an investigation uh, with respect. Uh, going into an investigation with, you know, the hope that someone who remains behind is going to communicate with them and not instigate a situation. I mean, you know, you guys have seen me go into a cemetery and some uh, the most recent one, was last year when we went back to a cemetery we've been to two times previously and you know things got so jumpy and frightening that it actually startled me off camera um uh, one one of them was a, 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 a here I'll, I'll show you the scene there's fired on you and pushed you north. Is, are you Potawatomi? By blue, do you mean sad? Angry? Watson. turned around and looked up and I swear to God somebody was walking towards me right there. Right. Now, it wasn't until I premiered that video uh, that that clip was in that, you know, people said, oh my God, I saw a face in, in, in that ball, that, uh, that mist. I didn't even see it. I didn't know. All I know is that I turned around and something was coming right at me. And I moved out of the way. It was in the shadows from where we were at, there, live. You couldn't see it, clearly. So we didn't know if it was a living thing. We didn't know what it was. You know, it, it's going to happen. I mean, you're going to get frightened. Any man... Any intelligent man is going to be frightened when he, uh, uh, when something startles him. Only, you know, intelligence tells you you have to be weary in a situation like that. So, the main thing that we need to do is start working together. Stop over-dramatizing. Stop trying to be uh, a Discovery Channel sensation or... Or, or something, you know, that the slightest little thing sends you into fear-gasm. Look! What is that? What is that? I'm pretty sure that's their television! Oh man, I am really scared! But I mean, that's all I really have to say about it. 
by by over dramatizing an investigation and posting that over dramatization where people can watch it especially people who sit on these town councils and these city councils and stuff like that it it, it it's slowly tearing apart the paranormal field making it to the point where yes you may get that one great video at a location but then they're never going to let you go back and they're not going to let anybody else go back because it's just it, it's just going to put a hurt on everyone but that's all I got to say guys I've got more work to do this week Y'all just take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. That's the important thing, that we take care of each other. Because we're all in it for the same reason. To find the proof, to find the evidence. That death is not the end. Death is just another plane of life that we all walk into. And the more we work together, the easier it's going to be to share that information and provide that evidence that people have been looking for for centuries. Y'all take care.